Hi, welcome back to Project 128. Today we're going to be showing you our newest project. Uh, what we're doing is, is we're making these small crack tea beds uh, for uh, their non-recirculating hydroponic beds for doing lettuce. And uh, many times what you'll see is you'll see a lot of these beds are being made four feet by eight feet or um, pretty, pretty big beds. We wanted something that was smaller that would fit into the sunroom that we have here at our house and also make it easier for moving around. So um, also for you as a homeowner, if you need something, you might not have the space for building something that's uh, four feet by eight feet. So what we chose to do is, is we're building one and it's, um, what we have is we cut our boards. These are about 47 and a half inches. We have two of those. We have two boards at one inch. This will give us an inside dimension that'll have, give us about 12 gallons of water. According to B.A. Kratke and his studies from the University of Hawaii, uh, what he states is that for each head of lettuce, you're going to need about one gallon. And so we have enough spaces for 12 um, heads of lettuce here. So we have 12 gallons of water and nutrient solution in the bottom. What we're also using is we also picked up some pieces of lath. And this is just like what you use uh, for different lattice things that you can pick up. These were picked up as uh, six foot pieces in a package of 10 in our local hardware store. We have some one and a half inch OSB sheeting. Uh, this one's already been cut. This is what they use as roofing material. It comes in four by eight sheets. We also have our one half inch um, foam insulation board uh, that we'll be using you know, for the top. We have our inch and a half exterior screws that we're going to be using for connecting our boards together. And then we're using one inch wood screws for connecting our lath to the side that'll hold our plastic on. And so what we're going to show you today is we're going to split this up into some you know, smaller videos for you, uh, step by step. In this first step, we're going to be building the main box, which is our sides and our two end pieces. Um, our next video, we're going to be showing you how to do the bottom and also how to cut your foam board and put your holes in for uh, your net pots. And then in the final one, what we'll show you is how to put the plastic. The plastic that we're using, we just picked up some regular uh, drop cloth. It's 3.5 mil. Uh, this is actually uh, a little bit thinner, but since it's inside, it's protected. We're using it doubled, so it gives us you know closer to like a 7 mil uh, type of plastic. We're trying to keep things too within a good price range, so it's something that you can do yourself. Um, and again, it's a, a lot of the things here. Um, we'll put the price list for all of our final things on our blog, so you can check that out there if you want to see how much we spent to build this. Uh, with these 4 by 8 sheets, we're going to be able to build about four of these boxes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and show you. Since these are 1 by 6 boards, the one thing I would recommend is that you go ahead and you make sure you do um, a pilot hole. Make sure, again, if you're drilling, sawing or that, you put your safety glasses on, watch your hands, either use gloves or keep them out of the way. But the reason we're going to go ahead and do pilot holes is with it being one by sixes and towards the end, if we don't have pilot holes in there, there's a good chance that you can split the boards. And we don't want that to happen. We want to have you know, as clean as possible. And the reason we're going with one inch, we've got an inch and a half going in here that are holding our boards together. But we switch to a one inch screw for our lap is so that we don't have points that go through and it'll puncture our plastic for us on the inside. We already pre-did this side, so then again, all we're going to have to do here, I already pre-drilled some holes in this one. Got my pilot holes already done. Okay, and then we're just going to go flip it over. Be our last side, we line that up. Again, we're going to drill our pilot holes in here. Okay, we have our two pilot holes drilled here for our last two screws for our for our box. Snug that down. One more. Okay, so now we have the frame for our our sides and our ends. Uh, what we're going to do with this now too is um, 
But we can take our OSB board. You can see we've got this one already pre-cut. When you have the OSB, one side's going to be uh, a little bit smoother and coated. That's what we're going to put facing up. You can tell the difference because the other side has the line scored on it for your measurements when you're doing uh, roof, roofing and sheeting. So what we basically did is we just took our four by eight sheet, we made our box, we laid this on top, we went ahead and we uh, traced our outline for it, and then we used our saw and we cut that out. So next time we come back, we're gonna be showing you how we're going to go ahead and we're gonna put the bottom on, we're gonna cut our foam piece for you and show how we put our holes in there again for our net pots. And um, then in our final stage, we'll show you how we put the plastic in there and how we make this bed. So thank you very much. Uh, like us if you want, subscribe. Um, go ahead and visit us on our blog or on our Facebook page. If you have questions or comments or suggestions, again, please feel free to submit those. We thank you very much for following us and happy gardening.